Well, I'm gonna be honest. That last part. Wait, does he have a flamethrower? Um, yeah. That what? looks like what he's holding. When did he get that? I don't know. But no, sure. it's it's a gun that's just on fire in general. No, it's doing the no, it's doing the flamethrower thing that like you know alien style. Oh, uh, okay. Ripley. Had I'm the, gonna be honest. That last uh, that last batch. Not not your favorite. That may have been my most hated part of the entire game so far. Yeah. By a, a huge, enormous margin. Uh, we walked out of here going, that wasn't too fun. No. Um, no, it was not. At, at which point... It's... Lo wait, okay, I'm confused already. At which point afterwards, uh, someone reached out and was like, Hey, by the way, I should warn you guys about this not fun part that's coming. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and I was like, ah! Is it, is it this part? Yeah, too late. Oh, fuck, was that just the not funnest? No, that zone wasn't particularly great. Um, I think it would have oh, been fine this looks nice. if it was short and sweet. Lower sewer while hey. there's guys in here. Well, this reminds me of the PE1 sewers a little bit. A little bit. Oh. Oh. I'm going to kill you. Oh, that's, that's proper the best. creepy. <laughs> Holy oh, shit, Oh, yeah, brother. that's proper creepy. So these are, this is the dumping area. Yeah, also, Kyle's with you now. I know, and he's doing tons of damage! And you get free BP out of it. He must be... He must have a little flamethrower thing at the end of his uh, end of his gun penis. I mean... You know what? It's like... I do like the visual of just, like, a little flame at t the tip, just to... To let you know that's what's causing the, the homemade flamethrower to go off. Mm -hmm. I like that look. Uh, again, reminds me of Alien. Oh, wait. Boat. Whoa. Weird. This area has, like, two doors leading into it, and they have defined upper and lower limits. They do. Well, I guess I'm just going to run around in the garbage for mm -hmm. a bit. Oh, my God. This is depressing. Yeah, that's where they belong. Uh, and... I guess, yeah, yeah, that's his life. Jesus, there. he's. Not I was getting confused because we have the yeah. I have the enemy life bar thing on now. Yeah, no, he's not too strong, but he's doing work. He's a fucking DPS. Eh. Eh. Get out of here, man! You're the coolest. That's fine. That's fine. I still don't like him. He's not the coolest, but he's got a good gun. And uh, typical of all LPs of this form of obscurity. Uh, no entry. Area submerged during drainage. A gate blocks the way. Um, every time we're like, oh, we shit on a game. Like Parasite Eve 2. And we're like, oh man, that game, I'm like, that game sucks, blah, blah, blah. Everyone comes out of the woodwork to defend it and say, man, that's a classic, you're an idiot. And just, just yesterday, I received a deluge of people going, oh wait, no, that game's ass. Hell no. That game's uh, trash. The mechanics are garbage compared to PE1. Oh, yeah. And now I don't know what to think or feel. Uh, I think, I think it was fine, but it has its weak parts. And, oh uh, my god, bro. And, and I'm, yeah, it's- Oh, they're attacking him instead! Uh, oh, this okay. is even better. But, uh, what if he dies? I don't care. Okay. Um, your shotgun dealt with them pretty nicely. Yeah, but he's dealing with them even nicerly. Uh, you know what it feels like? It feels like, uh, a s oh. Hmm. Mm. It feels like a, uh... That's quite a puddle. I'll stay up here. Like a book's sequel. Forgot to bring my sips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it looks like a book's puzzle. In the sense that, like... Uh, not puzzle, sorry. A book's sequel. Where it's like, this is just... It takes place in one small area in the desert. And it goes a little bit further to relate to her past. And that's it. Yeah. Very quickly, in and out. There's a memo attached. Check for occupants before opening the gate. Let the rats, roaches, and spiders drown. But first, count their legs, enter the total, and raise the lever. Okay. What? Four, uh... Four, six, eight. Four, six, eight. Yeah. Four, six, eight. What's the total? That's 18. Yeah. That's stupid. What if I'm an idiot and I don't know that? Well, know it. Uh, oh. Uh, also, um... That's always a problem I have with these puzzles, where they have... Yeah, there, uh, there is one coming up that, uh... Oh, no. There is one coming up that is Oh, a, no. It is optional, but it is sad ending if you skip... Are you serious? Yeah. Boo. So there's that. That being said, so this this game actually reminds me a little bit of RE3 in a, in a couple ways. Oh, did ways. you see it, ch see it change color? I did, because of the goo. Ugh. Oh, no. 
I'm never gonna find out what's up at that upper one now. Damn. Until you drain it again, if you want. It's yeah, let's drain it again and, and go check that out. You know what? This is already drained. Why not go forward? Drain the swamp. Anyway. Any, any, mm, mm. Uh, there might be items down there. There might be items down there. That's the best reason to do it. Well, uh, once I go through here, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> this is a new area or not, and then yeah. I'll be no to backtrack. Yeah. This is... Oh, hey, look at that! You're right in there. Oh, look at that, isn't that super? Perfect. I would have felt very dumb backtracking. <laughs> yep. yep. If someone told me that there was oh, a that really... that noise... That, that specific yeah. quality of noise brings me back a lot of flashbacks. I like it. If someone told me there was a really good item at the bottom of the swamp, I would drain it. I would. Oh, so this is the stupid fuckers that were giving me so much trouble. But this is with their bodies now. And they got nothing going on. Um, so the game just got a lot better as soon as I came down here. Do you notice that? Well, it, like all of a sudden enemies became fightable. Uh, well, it, it, no, it's it's more like like it's it's doing what it did in the first part of the game. Um, and I think what we had was a, a little intermission of like crazy weird future bullshit with yeah cameras and guns and tech and and then that a, that yeah. green door red door shit irks me to this day. It's really. It's. Is he ever gonna heal, or do you have to No, he's, he's never gonna heal. He's an idiot. Oh. Oh. How about that laughter? There Wait, we go. Where is it? Ooh. Now that you don't have the radar on, it's oh. actually, like, more confusing. Oh. The irony, of course, is that I- oh my god. There it is. Jesus fuck, man. Do you do you would do you rather the life bar or the or the radar? The life bar is really useful, but I can put both on. The ray the the life bar is built in, so let's let's go and see what we got. We got that. I definitely want to keep that on and that on. Uh, I don't need the MP boost on right now, uh, because of that. So let's find that radar. You're not really using spells, there we go. spells right now. There we go. Now I got both. I should be using more spells actually, because well. I should be using my mitochondrial powers, no. but I yeah, I, I wish you did. I wish like things like that weren't. Oh, like, handy dandy save point. No, nope. Full moon gate. Something Somewhere like enter tens digit. Okay. No. Nearby clue. Let's search for some nearby clues. Maybe Kyle would know. Kyle. Give me a clue, please. Is he one of? Oh, oh is that a memo? I was gonna say, is he one of those NPCs you can actually like talk to that follows you? Okay, memo <laughs> attached. Full moon gate only open after midnight. Enter the age of the fullest moon. And raise the lever. Something written in Japanese. If only I could read it. Enter mm. the age of the fullest moon. Uh, head back over there. The eight. What? Head back over there. The that mean? Do you know what the fuck that means? Full moon gate. One. Uh huh. Five. What? How'd you? Mm? Middle of the month. Oh really? Isn't that what that is? I. Uh, age of the old. Maybe. You just read it, didn't you? I totally read it. Okay, that's that's, that's fine. <laughs> I was about to that's say. totally fine. I was about to say. I was like, nah, I read it. That's <laughs> yeah, but that I'm the assuming fuck is that I'm assuming it's the middle of the month. Well, I opened up the full moon gate, but yeah. I don't know where that gate. Where <laughs> what gate was that that I opened? Ah. I mean, do you know what that was? I guess I'll run into the full moon gate further down. Uh, the Tsukiyomi gate. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, Get out of here, Sass, okay? Well, why don't you go... I mean, isn't it... Isn't, wouldn't it be towards the, where the enemies are? The enemies? Those enemies? No. No. Uh, I don't know. Well, let's... Let's back... Just tell me. No, I'm, I'm literally not sure. Well, I might as well go kill those enemies anyway. You're not gonna lose out by getting... Queen those. of Backtracking, I, Brayakowski, must destroy all NMCs. Queen Backtrack. Queen I would love- that's- you know what? I just invented an indie game. Queen of Backtracking. Mm. 
and it's a character that can only move backwards <laughs> through areas they've already been. But then how do you get into those areas? Shut up. You that was that was that was in the prequel. Okay, uh, no, 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 of no, the no, game no. that No, at, like at, the game starts with like okay, there's a cutscene before every level of like what they did and you're going back and doing cleanup. And you're picking up items off of enemies that you didn't pick up items off of and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can make it work. You can make it work. Oh, wow. That was so lucky. I got the heal out of the last second and I got some MP to recover it. Mitigating some of my costs. Hmm. You think the queen of backtrack would have a backpack? Yes. Yeah. Yes, she would. Oh, look. She'd be like a backpack wrapper. Yeah. What the fuck? Where the fuck am I now? Oh. Oh. You're now you're upstairs. I'm back here, but... B... Uh, look at the map again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 because I, I was B3. past those locked doors, right? Yeah, okay. So maybe I can unlock them from this side. It is a little weird that Kyle doesn't heal himself in any way whatsoever. I was really expecting him to do so by now. All right. Well, let's see if I can unlock this. Well, I unlocked it. Super. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna save the game, why not? Understood. Inform me of any development. Th what the fuck is the point? Like, at this point, are you even doing anything? No. We're calling in to tell you what's happening. Shit's going real bad. We're alone down here, and I've, you're like, I've found, thanks for the update. I have found an apocalyptic level NMC production facility involved in uh, gross negligence and human experimentation. Keep that, us posted, That's yeah. That's a good one. Nice, nice, good work. Yeah, go, 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 go. The elevator is stopped on this floor. The emergency a, stop was pressed. Let's release the emergency stop. A mutant blob. Um, oh, I can go up here. Uh, so, so, uh, what I was saying... I just want to see where this will dump me out. Yeah. I'm going to come back down and explore that area that uh, I, I didn't finish off. Uh, a mutant blob. Are we going to make out? Will is on the other end of that phone mm. and is completely ignoring an amoeba, a large scale amoeba. But it has a voice. This is sounds. it. Oh wait, this is plot. You get off here. I do. What? I didn't want to do this. You're going up. Cover more ground. That fuck you. Mm, fuck you, bitch. You just made a, a hard decision. I did. Yeah, you did. I didn't think I did. Yeah. Sad ending for you. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh well. Thanks. You know what? I accidentally skipped that cutscene, which is great. Well, you skipped the puzzle. Oh, uh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> What's- oh no. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, uh, recording's still fine. Oh yeah, totally. Okay. As long as you reset from within the game. Yep, we're- yep. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so that- Oh man, I remember when it used to be much harder than that? I mean, I didn't- I didn't get- you know, I was, I'm glad. I was in the middle of a sentence, so- I'm glad you did this. But yes, uh, that- that's- Oh me. fuck. That's not an, a door you can check, Boy, I'm check out. super glad that I saved the game right then and there. Well, it's also like, if you, you know, that's a fair guess, right? Let's go peep and see what's happening and then back, you know, it's not a fog gate. That may be one of my most, okay. So I know I've talked about this because we kind of repeat ourselves here on the channel because there's you only so many video games to talk about. You think we that repeat ourselves? You, I do think we may repeat ourselves occasionally. You think we repeat ourselves? I think you may be repeating yourself right now. Fuck. I know. But uh, one of the most hated of all mechanics is uh, wildly present in this game. And it's... Hey, you missed that item. Too bad you're never going back there. Uh, <laughs> co combine that with... It, it, did you walk in the wrong door? Hard progress. Yeah. No going... Nope. 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 And those two Those things, characters are dead now. And those two things... Literally what you're <laughs> describing is exactly the problem I had with Until Dawn. Yeah. I like that game a lot. I recently replayed it uh, with my God girlfriend. God uh, damn. Fuck that part of it. Yeah. Just like... Oh, I want to explore down here. Nope. For, for, no. Oh, oh shit. Oh, they're dead. Crap! You know? And I get- and, no, and in this case, it's like, survive, right? It's not explore, it's survive, that's fine. But two dots... Are- of, 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 like, go check this out. RPGs yeah. of this era were particularly guilty of that. And- and that- I, I never I, understood the idea, like, I- So, FF15 has some fucking absurd, weird jank on the way that it lets you move around. Mm. There's a dog that transports you back in time. <laughs> To, to, like, that sh Oh my god. Yeah, no, I missed a bunch of crap. Uh, but at least you can always go back to anything. 
Yeah. Anything of value. Flint, I have this. What? Where are you going? Want to check out the shelter? I guess you will. Fine. I I'm worried about Mr. Douglas. Oh, well, he knows. Go check on Mr. Douglas now and join me at the shelter. Right. I'll be waiting there for you. Oh, stop it. Kyle, be careful. You don't care. Um, Wait, did I just... Am I back there? I am! Flint the dog! Huh. Interesting. That's super cool. Okay. What could be the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter. This area is dark and I can't see shit. Yeah. <laughs> Kill that light. That's fine. Kill that light. You know what's funny? Billy was working on the... He was brightening it up in editing when he was looking at it. And he's like, it still doesn't help. Doesn't help. Some of the black is just actually like information it, not on... Not yeah, on display. it's black. Um... So the worst offender of what I was talking about... That you have personally found in your life... Is Walking Dead Season 2. Yes. I knew you were going to say that. I'm always... I'm repeating, you, you talked about it, like... We repeat for ourselves. For quite a while on we the repeat podcast. ourselves. And it is worse than the writing. It's worse than the characters and the dumb shit that happens in that. It is just... You looked. I remember at there was the one with like balloons or something. Or, or it was. A, there's a box. You were looking for. Uh oh. You, it's when. Whoa, that was weird. It's when you're going to put something on. You're, you're looking for the right star to put on the Christmas tree. Yeah, that that's the one that got you. And you look at the wrong group of people, or walk up the wrong set of stairs, and you are done. Hard progress locked. No talking to anyone else. And no manual saves either. So like, you're not. You're, you're loading Bitches. back up from a checkpoint. You're not loading back up from, you know, <sighs> yeah. wherever you want to. You got super mad at that shit. It was beyond infuriating. In a, in a story, in a, in a game that I was already, You were like, sitting there going, I'm beyond infuriated! I was already down on it, and that just really put me over the top. No, 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 the, the, the empty clip put me over the top. The empty clip. Oh, you don't remember that? No, <laughs> I don't. That was my other thing that I keep talking about, and I never shut up with it, was, uh... Shut up! God, shut up with that! It, the, at the end of that, zombies attack. Who would've thunk it? Mm. And Are you telling me the zombies attack? Zombies attack, and then you're Clem, and you shoot the zombies, right? You have your gun. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you eventually, you, you use six shots, and you're out of bullets. Fair enough. And then there's more zombies coming, and I'm like, well, I'm out of bullets, so I'm gonna wait for someone to save me, or something to happen. Yeah. Nothing happens, they get you, you die. Right. I play it again. I shoot the, the zombies. I look around for an item to interact with. Nothing. There's nothing to do after you use all six of your shots. Eventually, maybe the fourth time, fifth time, I shoot all the bullets. Then you shoot a seventh time. And then I keep shooting, and then I shoot again, and it goes click, 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 click. And after three or so clicks, the game triggers the next cutscene to say, Oh, you panic shot? Now we're going to save you. That was like, that was the point of the sequence. And I'm like, no, I didn't panic. I knew how many bullets I had. I used them, and when they were done, I looked for the next thing to happen. The game's like, no, but you have to panic in order for the game to progress. Oh, what is happening out here? The creature made a hole. Yeah. I need to get in here somehow. Yeah. So that, to me, was the breaking point. That was the, I fucking just hate this and everything about it. You hate it? How sad. I got an item. A belt pouch. You know, nothing spells out that the writers of the first season left after that. Then that kind of dumb then bullshit. that kind of dumb bullshit. Absolutely. Hey, look! Wooly's a little happier now. I'm able to use... I got an extra belt pouch. Cool. Do your thing. I did it. Alright, why... Oh! I, am I supposed to go up here? Wow, they completely just... Repopped this whole zone <laughs> once again. When you just when you thought you were out, they pull you right back in. Right back in. Oh, if man. only experience wasn't so incredibly valuable. <gasps> uh oh. No. Other side. Wait, that's. Is that Pierce? Yeah, actually, that's not. That's not Douglas at all. I just fucking roast these idiots. Fucking god. Go away. God damn. Huh. Weird. Pierce, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be on the other end of the phone, idiot. Planet even. Pierce. Oh. No. 
Uh, what? Uh, That's stupid. Joseph Joestar shit. Three, that's not a real thing. Yeah. That's like a high five to no one. Ha ha. Right. That's creepy at the workplace. No, don't. Don't. <laughs> don't do that out in the field when like live fire I'll get is, is happening, please. Don't. Oh, wait, are you going to do don't worry about me? Oh, really? What the f- And I. I came here to rescue me! <gasps> Why can't everyone be Mulder and Scully? Why can't everybody just be Mulder and Scully? Why can't you just be God? Ma Matt's descriptions of Scully, like, f shooting ghosts <laughs> and being like, there's a logical explanation of this but, but is just... some of my favorite fucking stupid shit ever. But I just mean in terms of, like, uh, stop it. You ate the key? That's kind of weird. Uh, I thought he was spitting in his hand to do like a, oh, yeah, yeah. a spit spit uh, bond or whatever. I was like, oh, no way, dude. I uh, stop it. Anyway. <sighs> Did he just fall asleep? Yeah, he's one of those characters. <sighs> yeah. I just mean in terms of their professional relationship. I think they are a believable. It's on a cute keychain. I think they're a believable pair of FBI agents. Yeah. Except for the dumb shooting it goes bullshit. <laughs> I, I still, I, I, you know, I have not watched all of X-Files, but I think. Oh, me neither. My favorite. Uh, so I, I'm, Cause I, there's a, the, I know people are going to come There's the reverse the of that, things, right? The yeah. reverse of that is Mulder being like, oh, it's a ghost. And it's like a guy wearing a mask. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the ultimate uh, on both ends of that spectrum, to my knowledge, is the vampire episode. In, it's pretty early, I think, and it's where like Mulder's like these are fucking vampires, right? And and so he gets into a big oh, tizzy. Oh, oh, fuck. to do. Uh -oh. oh, good timing. Doesn't matter. I'm I'm getting fucked right here. Parry it. Oh, oh, there you go. Uh, and he gets into a fight with one in the hotel room. I think it is. Right. Um, and he ends up. Uh, killing, like, putting a stake through the guy's heart. Like, he's like, I gotta do it! And he fucking murders him hard. Yeah. The dude's dead. And then he goes like, ah, I knew it! And he, like, touches his teeth and, like, fake vampire <laughs> teeth come out. And he's just like, oh, god! Uh. Damn it! <laughs> right? And then later on, uh, that character is in the morgue and they pull the stake out and he, like, gets up and escapes because he oh. actually... So it's... So it's vampires are real except for the teeth part. The teeth part is super <laughs> fake. Oh, uh, that's dumb. That's great. That's like uh, Cassidy and Preacher. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Full on, like, I'm doing the thing. And then, no, it wasn't. You're going to be guilty about it. No, fuck you. I'm out. <laughs> that's Stupid. Great. That's really good. But uh, yeah, no, I do. But yeah, that's a nice pendulum swing of like. They're fucking dudes in masks versus this is a monster, Scully. <laughs> You're shooting the golem. Do you not see like, this? No, nah, there's an explanation. This is not. Nah. Oh. <laughs> Scully, do you not see this? Yes, but I don't want to. One? Oh. I guess I got to. Luckily, there's a single shot on these. Do butterflies have a single point of HP? Yes, they do. Hmm. I'll kill these butterflies dead. Hmm. I think... If butterflies have one point of HP, Thank then, like, how much do cockroaches have? Uh, a lot. Because you... Yeah, you ever step on a cockroach, and then it just goes like, <laughs> Yeah, okay, buddy. I have... You ever I, had that experience? I have a very dramatic fear of cockroaches, as has been noted by multiple podcasts. And now... But, um, the main... The main... So here's why I have a big fear of cockroaches. Sure. I remember reading that if you step on a cockroach, what's possible to happen is that all you do is you smear their totally intact eggs on the bottom of your feet. Uh-huh. And... Then you're gonna bring home. Yep. And then they're you're gonna doing, be all in your fucking life. You're doing the Lord's work. You're spreading them and out. And I can't have that. Yep. Uh, Where uh, is this motherfucker's SUV? You know, it's. Uh, I tell you what, it's almost like that cockroach was shaking its ass at you, hoping you'd step on it. Oh, this is what I want. So that you'd spread those eggs out. Mm. Be fruitful and multiply. That's not what I wanted. Listen. God, God, why would you do The this? fear that you have is of these little pussy-ass North American cockroaches. Not the Germans. 
right? You're looking at the little small things that are thin and weevil-like almost, right? That's what you're thinking of? Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah. See, nah, that's not a cockroach, okay? A proper cockroach as uh... I'm getting full up on shit once again. You are, but you have boxes. I have, yeah, but none of them connect. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 I mean, why would they, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna hate, I'm not gonna fault the in-game logic there. No, that's come on, man. But uh, you're right. You're right. Video games. In ga in-game in-game logic can go fuck my ass. Okay, how about that? In magical item boxes, as opposed to your mouth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fine. Oh. So listen, right? Like, I'm not gonna listen. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say it anyway. Not after that. I'm gonna say it anyway. You fuck you. Okay. Because good old Grenadian cockroaches. I'll tell you what. Those things, fuck your life up. Those things are. Yeah, I remember you told me a story of your mom hitting one with a shoe, and it was like, bye, and then <laughs> flew away. <laughs> it was on the wall, and she goes, wham, like full swing. And then you lift the shoe up to look at the work you've done to admire your, your creation. And the thing is, like, yeah, okay, guess what? I'm out. Jeez, fine. You could have just said so and flew the fuck out. Same thing for when you run into them randomly crawling around, right? Outside, if you see if you see one or whatever, and it's like you take a big ass stomp and like you lean into it. I mean, okay, I was I was young at the time, admittedly. I can't uh, do much here. No, you got infected. Okay. Oh, there you go. So yeah, antibody is probably gonna be decent against uh, oh. this shitty situation. But anyway, um, yeah, you lean into it and and you fucking oh, stab. Fuck this. Yeah. There you go. God, that just solves everything. Oh, I got big poison. Almost po oh. everything. But not everything. I got big poisoned. Oh, I thought I could... <laughs> Moral of the story is, cockroaches rightfully deserve to inherit the earth. Rightfully? Dude, they parried my kill attempt. My surefire super desperation technique was parried and laughed off with a shrug. I don't know about that. I don't and think, I don't think, like, survivability is what determines your right to inherit shit. And I, I can only say- Although I guess that's how property works. I mean, basically, right? If, Aha, I outlived you, old man. Now your shit is mine. Or I have more people and I'm taking it. You know, that's- it's mine now. That's how countries worked. That's how China, that's what they thought. And, and, you ever, you, you ever tell that, like, Chairman Mao's big idea on why there's so many people in China? Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, we're gonna tell everybody to have s as many kids as they could possibly handle. Mm -hmm. Because after the nuclear apocalypse, which I believe Chairman Mao to be 100% inevitable, uh, that way there will be, like, 1% of every country left, but that's gonna mean a lot of Chinese folks, and we're just gonna inherit the Earth. Well, I love them, yeah. Uh, and then when that didn't happen... It backfired. It backfired a little bit. And they're like, let's put some rules in place. And then everyone's like, those are fucked up. Like, but hey, these rules are shady. You ever hear about the whole thing where it's like, uh, if the if America ever pisses me off, I'll tell everybody to gather and jump <laughs> oh, in China. That's so stupid. That's <laughs> not a real thing. <laughs> the math's been done on that. No, obviously, yes. but it's just one of those statements to be like, hey, look what I can do. I bet you you can Snopes that, but my, um, Oh, yeah? But my Chinese- I can- I can Chinese do that roommate, with math in two seconds. My, my Chinese roommate told me about that, and I was like, that's a dumb thing to say. And he's like, nah, man, it's so true. Like, <laughs> it's like, I know Kung Fu, and I'm like, well, you're, you're very tough. He did. Yeah, I know, I know. You know that he knows yeah, Kung Fu. <laughs> I know that he knows Kung Fu, because I saw him put a gun in his mouth when we were watching Fist of the North Star. <laughs> <laughs> the live-action movie. Oh, uh, God. Um, he was very truly excited about that premiere showing. So I've lived to experience how tough cockroaches can be, but I've never got to see what the those, those rhinoceros beetles are like in real life. And I always want to experience that because, like, oh I, the the fucking stags. The, the, yeah, the shit that all the Japanese cool stuff is based on, you know. Because like, I, there's one video I think of like a guy who like. They had a beetle and they chained a part of it to his face, to his nose, I think, or some shit like that. They're like, what's gonna happen? And it's like face versus rhinoceros beetle, and obviously, beetle won. Of course. <laughs> you know. Of course. But like, I would like to see that strength up close to admire it. Because it's one of the coolest powers. I would like to challenge this bug. It's one of the coolest powers. I'm gonna use a recovery to next battle. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby Superstar. It's a good game. How come bugs are cool and big sometimes? Other times they're gross and small. Uh, these are the, these are the questions that keep me up at night. Well, 
I think the more dangerous it is, the more of a um, innate fear it sets off in your body, in your mind and body. I hate these ones. You know, where you're like, that looks like too many legs. That looks like dangerous poison, right? All that shit that your ancestors died to, like the ones who survived, it was they hate it. It was burnt into them to stay away from those. Things. You know, it's funny because beetle, anything with six legs, yeah. like uh, more like. It does not engender the fucking <laughs> yeah, no, response in my in my in my chest. Because your ancestors survived the poisonous eight-legged ones. That's what it was. That's like what, yeah. Because beetles, man, like they're cool most of the time. Um, and similarly, uh, I heard this. I heard similar about uh, snakes. Yeah. Right. Like that kind of initial fear you get of like something slithering up to you. It's like yeah. It's say the same thing. It's just like this killed a ton of people. And a lot, the ones that didn't die, learned to fear it. I remember, I remember, uh, I was looking at some, I was re watching a video that included clips from, I think his name's Joseph Campbell. He's the guy who wrote the monomyth, mm. right? The, the, the hero with a thousand faces. Yeah. Um, and he describes like, what's up with snakes being evil in nearly every, every ancient religion yeah. and, and folktale. Yeah. And there's two reasons. One is which they're alien and threatening to humans anywhere they're discovered. Uh huh. And the second one is because they shed their skin and totally reborn themselves and are constantly changing. Yes. They're they're untrustworthy. Yes, absolutely. They're they're they like because there's a longstanding like inter like philosophical tradition of the ever present and unchanging is to be trusted, and the malleable and uh, malleability and, and ever-changing stuff stability. is flawed. Yeah. Stability is valued over all else, and a that makes more sense in a chaotic world where the pox is gonna get you. Yeah, but that wise tortoise never changes. It's old oh my God. and stays constant, and we can trust in it. When I wake up tomorrow, that tortoise is still gonna be a tortoise. Right, so yeah. that becomes the symbol of like stability. Yeah, yeah. and and and, and, uh, and that's why, like, when you look at Dante's Inferno and stuff like that, it's like, what is God in Dante's Inferno? He's a circle, because a circle is like this perfect, stable, anti-entropic principle. Right. Whereas uh, Satan and all that stuff, it's all very human. It's all very mundane. You know, and and it's interesting how like you you look at uh, how a threat straight up affects your brain's way of parsing a certain type of creature, mm -hmm. or even like uh, the behavior of spiders the group. in your um, mind may appear bigger than they actually are. Yeah. Like, you know how, you know, uh, you know bonobos? Uh, but oh yeah, the sex monkeys. Yeah, right? <laughs> Those guys are great. So they're like chimps, but just way more mill mellowed out. I cannot, right? And it is difficult to describe the level of mellowed out of a bonobo monkey. They're so relaxed, and they're just about having sex for our for, yeah, they, they for bargain. Yeah, they, they have a society, right? Uh, or they have a social structure, rather, not a society. That's a bit above them. <laughs> but their social structure, the bonobo monkey, is, I'm angry, let's fight. Okay, I guess we're gonna have sex. Yeah. I like you. Let's have sex. There's not enough food to go around. Let's have sex until hey man, we're too tired. Are you having a bad day? Sex. Okay. And apparently, right, <laughs> so a lot of that behavior is based on the fact that uh, because chimps were more so grow uh, in trees, yeah. and because their society was mo more so f uh, formed in, like, you have to reach the berries, you have to be strong to get to the food. If you do Strength wins. If you do not... If you're not strong enough to hang out up here, guess what? You get to go live downstairs with the predators. That means that aggression was rewarded in their basic uh, uh, structure. Yeah. Whereas bonobos, which weren't in the trees, they were on the ground. Just hanging out. They're hanging out, and you, it didn't make a difference. How oh, wait, hold on. There's progress on the investigation. No problem. Well, no, not really. It's Pierce you're asking after he went home early. Stomach ache. Oh, haha. -ha. I do not need... Oh, hey, look. Information. Let's ask about the shelter. Someone's looked into that. Turns out the original owner was a religious group. The shelter was going to be much larger. The project was abandoned with the end of the Cold War. Then our info gets sketchy. Yeah. Changed a few times. Asked about that. Backup. Uh, nobody's back from the ho cleanup at the hotel. Still. Oh, it's, that. It's just. Send back if we had the personnel. Okay, nothing. I, I'm doing a great job. I'm doing a great, great <laughs> I, job. I, and, and we're just going to sit here. We're just going to. Well, I, I, listen, all the agents are out cleaning up that hotel that was, like, weeks ago? Well, no, d days. Days, days. right. 